Hey, Justin Young with The Excellence Effect. I want to talk to you for just a minute today about negative relationships. Listen, in life, when you've got goals that you're trying to achieve and you're trying to move towards those goals, it's very important that you list those out, that you look at what you're trying to accomplish. You know, a lot of times in life, when we begin to move towards those goals, we'll find that maybe everything, every aspect of our life is not cohesively moving in that direction. And oftentimes what you'll find is there will be relationships that are holding you back. I've said this before and I'll say it again. In life, you should be hanging out with people that are at the very least, they're on the same path that you're going, headed towards the same destination. They're success-minded. They're not riffraff. They're not people that's going to tell you to go lazy off when it's time to be working, okay? They're positive people. They're people that don't cram a bunch of negativity in your life. They don't tear you down. But oftentimes, the very thing that's pulling us back is relationships. Let's just be honest. A lot of times people do not take stock. They don't evaluate and audit their relationships in their life. At the very least, they need to be going in the same path you're going. But ultimately, you need to be surrounding yourself with people that are giants, people that are already where you want to be so that you can learn, you can be mentored, and you can be prodded on, encouraged on, to move towards that level. If you don't get nervous in your group of friends and in your circle from time to time because maybe you feel even a little intimidated, let me tell you something, your group is too small. But I want to encourage you today to audit, take audit of your relationships. You know what your goals are. Hopefully you've got them written out. You're moving towards them day in and day out. You know successful people do every day what unsuccessful people only do occasionally. And so as you're moving towards those goals, Begin to evaluate your relationships. What people are in your circle that shouldn't be there? I love the saying, the quote, always look around in your boat to make sure everybody's holding a paddle and not a drill, okay? You don't want people drilling holes when they should be paddling, helping you go where you need to go. I love to talk about sharks and remoras because if you've ever studied wildlife or studied fish of the sea, you know, you always see the pictures of these gigantic, majestic, enormous sharks traveling through the water and then you'll see these little fish attached to them on the back of their tails or sometimes on the side of their bodies or under their bellies and they attach to that that great big fish and they're just along for the ride. Let me tell you something, you're a shark, you're a great big fish, greatness is upon you, greatness lies within you, you've got a destiny, a hope and a future and as you're traveling and you're moving towards that a lot of times the remoras come The small fish come. They attach themselves to you. And let me tell you something. They're a parasite. They're just along for a free ride. They're not there to encourage you. You know, the amazing thing about those remoras is the main reason that they attach to that shark is they want a free meal. As that shark begins to get its food, goes in on the prey, eats, Bits of food make it around the mouth of the shark in the middle of that attack, and they travel backwards as that shark propels forward, enabling the remor to be able to grab the leftovers from the shark. Let me ask you something. Who today is attached to you that's just there for a free meal? Who's there for a free ride? Who's there just to get the leftovers from what you've went and accomplished and done? Let me tell you something. It's dead weight, and today's the day to shake those things off. Just shake it off. There's a popular song out right now, and it makes me smile. I didn't plan on saying that, but shake it off, shake it off. You need to shake the remoras off of your life. The the great, it's amazing the things we can learn from nature, but you know the remora is even satisfied, as gross as this sounds, to eat the excrement, the excrement from the shark, the waste, if you're following with me, to put it as clean as we can put it for this. He's satisfied to get whatever he can get as long as he doesn't have to do any work and he gets a free ride and a free meal. Let me encourage you today, audit your relationships, what people in your life are remorse that are not there to encourage you, to help you, to build you up, but are just dead weight. Shake those things off today. Begin to move towards your destiny. Place positive people around you. Bring those key relationships in and you will be amazed how you'll begin to be propelled even further, even farther, even faster towards your future. Listen, whatever you do, make it excellent.